Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also, good morning. So today I wanted to go ahead and update you guys with my day one Righteous Fire Chieftain update. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. First off, we are almost done with our Atlas. Everything is climbing pretty well. Um, been pretty impressed actually with RF's damage this go around. Primarily because the new life rolls on gear can become insane. I don't even actually have a lot of them, but I have found like a, like for example, or do we have a ring? The rings can now have like a hundred life on them as a T1. That's like almost double the life they had before. So this is a really cool update for sure. But I'm going to go ahead and just jump into a map and kind of show you guys how we clear. Uh, so here's like a T12 map. So I'll just go ahead and uh, see what we got here. Uh, two proj is pretty scary. So two proj and vulnerability. This is like a giga rippy map, but uh, we'll see what happens. So I'm just going to hover over our gear real fast. I identified this scepter in the campaign. It basically had fire multi and I crafted fire and ignite. Here I'm using skitterbot frost blink purity of fire. Remember you don't want to do the skitterbot purity of fire swap until you have your pantheon here for a chance to avoid being frozen. And you also want to make sure you have your ascendancy here for a Velaco storms embrace. That way you can make use of your max fire. Over here is just the helmet that we found that just has really good sustain. Uh, pretty good armor as well. I'm running determination there. Over here is just the shield I picked up in the campaign. Mainly I'm just using it because of high life, chaos res, reduced crit damage taken. Res the Phoenix would be pretty good, but I'm already at 88 max res and 90 with my ruby at the moment. Here we got shield charge, life tap, faster attacks. You want to make sure your shield, your life tap here is lower level once you have life tap on RF. So that way when you shield charge one time, you trigger your life tap and you don't have to worry about throwing it or like doing anything else. Over here, I've got life tap punishment. Again, it doesn't matter if the life tap is leveled here because we're already triggering it here. So I will just use this life tap to sell to other people when it's 20 or I'll vault it hoping for 21. Uh, punishment, enduring cry, blood rage, uh, burning damage, swift affliction, elemental focus, righteous fire, efficacy, and life tap. Over here, I bought um, div cards for a holy chainmail. There are three chaos each. They're called Emperor of Purity. Um, then we've got our Fire Trap, Swift Affliction, Trap and Mine, and Life Tap. I have these in gloves that I got plus two AoE on because of uh, Jun, so pretty cool. In fact, most of my gear like doesn't have life, almost. well, not good life rolls. We have quite a bit of life. Hello. Uh, over here at the Currency Exchange, we have been uh, having a lot of fun. Um, we have popped out now six Divines, so I'm ready to go spend some currency. But for now, let's go jump into the map, shall we? Into the Geode. Uh, I would pop Delhi right now, but like vulnerability with two proj on this character seems not the way to go for me. <laughs> There's already an expedition here, but even the expedition is going to be crazy rippy because of this. So, all right, here we go. League mechanic. I'm going to go ahead and pop up my passive tree because when I pop up my passive tree, you'll notice that there's actually something a tiny bit different from my passive tree than the normal build you would look at. Um... So if you, oh, give me one sec. If you notice over here, I am actually into a scuffed ass cluster jewel. This is just because I want fan the flames. Fan the fame flames is basically going to allow me to have these awesome proliferations with my ignite. Um, so that's the primary reason why I have that there. Um, this will all make sense in a second when I show you this expedition. So let me just go over here. What do we have here? Immune to Fizz, ignore physical damage reduction, immune to cold. This is a really dangerous one, so uh, let's see what happens. I'm just going to go ahead and pop that, and then I'm going to come over here and grab the shrine for some more defenses. Oh, I need to run Blood Rage. Where'd that go? There we go. Oh, I also have no flash charges right now. Oh, there's an explode. Very nice. This is how I've been making most of my currency here, is quite literally Expedition. And then I'll go show you guys the boss damage. Because right now it's not bad. I'm basically on a five link uh, fire trap because I have the plus two gems. They're not too bad. Also cannot wait to go faster. Um, I know in the POB it says help Oak. And I currently have Oak because it was bugged for me. But I want Creighton just because I prefer to play a little bit faster. Right? I prefer to play RF as a comfy mapper. Also with the new life rolls on gear, I I'm personally going with Creighton. Doesn't mean you guys need to change by any means, as 40 base life is still not too bad at all.
Oh, three. There we go. And there's like no density in this map. This is like, uh, it's like actually no density. Geo, it is uh, poopo out of ten. I have to remember that. Some of the other maps I've been running are like crazy juicy. That is uh, pretty much it. Uh, like I said, I'm pretty happy with the character right now. Um, to talk about my skill tree a little bit more, I'm probably going to try to expand this cluster as this gives me the biggest bang for buck. I'm also going with um, jewels like this. They're exactly like the ones in the POB. They just trade a damage node for a max fire res. This can help me achieve max fire res a lot easier without having to sacrifice my shield because I'm about ready actually to go block based. Uh, with the Shaper Life Gain on Block Shield, or Shaper Recovery. Uh, for that, I'll be swapping this, and you can kind of see all of that in the uh, Path of Building, so we're not going to cover that. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Uh, just before we wrap up and end here, my RF is 163k, and the Fire Trap is 236k. You can see that in the Fire Damage per second. Take care. Hope you guys are enjoying the League, and I'll catch you guys all tomorrow.